angles in a polygon. So the main focus will be on properties of angles. Now, an angle on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees. It therefore means that angles on a straight line, when you have a straight line, all the angles will sum up to 180 degrees. So we have angle A is plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees. And the next one, angles at the point sum up to 360 degrees. So we have, if we have angles at the point, so angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E will all sum up to 360 degrees. The next one we have vertically opposite angles are equal. Angles are placed this way. They are vertically opposite. So it therefore means that A, angle A is equal to angle C. They are vertically opposite angles. Alright. B, angle B is equal to angle D. They are vertically opposite. Another name you can call the vertically opposite angles is X angles. Alright, for the last one, when a transversal cuts parallel lines, the following are true. Now when a transversal cuts parallel lines, the following are true. In this case, now we can have that A is equal to C, vertically opposite angles. B is equal to D, diabetically opposite. A is equal to D, the corresponding angle. So angle A is equal to angle D, the corresponding angle. The same thing with D and E, the corresponding angles. All right. So B is also equal to G, the corresponding angle to C equals to F, the corresponding angles. You also have alternate angles, Z angles now. If you look at the figure graph, sorry, we have a Z here, which we have C and D. So C and D, angle C, and is equals to angle D, because they are alternate angles. You can also refer that to D and G. D and G are also alternate angles. All right, now let's move to our examples. All right, for example one, what is the size of the angle mark X in the following? In A and B, we have to find the size of the angle mark X. Now, in the first one, we are going to use, we are going to find, we cannot find X directly if we can't find A. All right, so we know that angle A plus 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. That is angle on a straight line. So, angle on a straight line. All right, so we have angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So, angle A is equal to 80 minus 30 degrees will give me 50 degrees. So now, it will be easier for us to find x now. So in this case now, angle A is equal to angle x because they are corresponding angles. So angle x, angle A is equal to angle x is equal to 50 degrees. They are corresponding angles. Alright, for B, we have x plus 124 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees because this is angle on a straight line. So x plus 124 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. That is angle on a straight line. So we have x plus x is 2x plus 124 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead like them. So we have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 124 so 2x is equal to 180 minus 1, 2, 4 degrees. This will give us 6, 5. So this will give us 180 minus 124 degrees is equal to 56 degrees. 56 degrees. Don't forget that we are finding only x, not for 2x. So we are going to divide both sides by 2. So 2 
goes into 5, that is 2 times omega 1, 2 goes into 16, that is 8n. So the value of x is equal to 28 degrees. And you note that if you can if you add 28 to 124 to 1 to 28 to give us 180 degrees. Alright, example 2. Find the math angles below. So we have A, B, C. Now in this case, now if you look at this, you note, you note that this is vertically opposite. It means that 61 plus B will give us 110 degrees because they are vertically opposite. So now we have 61 degrees plus B is equal to 110 degrees. They are vertically opposite angles. Now B is equal to 110 degrees minus 61 degrees. So B is equal to 110 minus 61. 49. So B is equal to 49 degrees. So you have gotten B to be 49 degrees. Now, since this is angle on a straight line, you can actually get C because you have gotten the value of B. So now, since B is 49 degrees, so 49 degrees plus 61 degrees plus C will give us 180 degrees. That is angle on a straight line. So in this case now, we have 49 degrees plus 61 degrees. That will give us 110 degrees plus C equals 180 degrees. So C is equals to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. All right, so C is equals to 180 degrees minus 10 gives us 70 degrees. So the value of C in this case is 70 degrees. Now, to prove whether your answer is correct, don't forget that it's also angle on a straight line. So 70 plus 110 degrees will give us 180 degrees. Because the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Now, we are left with the, we are left with A. So now, in this case now, A is vertically opposite C because they form the X shape there. So A, the angle A, Angle A is equal to angle C2, which is equal to 70 degrees. They are vertically opposite angles, which are also equal. Alright, we've come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting mathematics videos. Bye.